It's championship weekend for a lot of you out there in fantasy football, so we're asking our fantasy expert, William Del Pilar, a couple of names that may come up big this weekend for your teams. William, let's start off with the running back position. You like Khalil Bell, the running back for the Bears. Well, yes, it's a situation in which He's going to get an opportunity possibly to start this week. Last week he had 108 yards from scrimmage. He outplayed Marion Barber, and he's facing a Packers team that's given up nearly 170 yards from scrimmage to opposing backs. You know, it's a great opportunity. He fits the number three or an injury fill-in, and why not? He's going to see the targets and going to see the touches since Matt Forty is not there. Now, I have a personal question because it's a dilemma I have on my own team. I have Marshawn Lynch, who obviously has been maybe the best running back in fantasy football the last few weeks, but he's going up against the San Francisco 49ers, who amazingly haven't allowed a rushing touchdown yet, yet this year. i got Beanie Wells sitting on my bench. Is there any way I should bench Marshawn Lynch? I don't think many would argue if you did, but that's based off perception. The truth of the matter, the Niners have played very tough against the Ravens and against the Steelers. But I will, be tell I will say that Marshawn Lynch is playing better football than those two backs. Marshawn Lynch is one of the premier backs right now. And if it was MJD, you wouldn't bench him. But because it is Marshawn Lynch, you're debating the fact. Don't debate it. Run with him and hope for the best. Just because he's playing that hot, you have to go with him. All right, I'll keep him in there and hope for the best. A couple of receivers you like this week, maybe not big names that people are looking at, but you like Jabbar Gaffney. I like Jabbar Gaffney. Uh, a couple weeks ago, 92 yards of TD. Last week, 85 yards. He's been targeted 17 times. The Vikings are playing, are, are giving up 176 yards and nearly two TDs a game to the position. And the reason I like Gaffney is he's very steady and he's going to get you your number three fantasy point production and you don't have to worry about that position. Uh, we've been seeing good wrecks the last few weeks, so go ahead and write him. You have to have some safe points on your championship week. You can't go boom or bust every single player, and he's a safe pick. One more real quick for you, Nate Washington from the Titans. You know, Nate Washington, I like 130 yards of TD a couple weeks ago, 62 yards last week. He's facing the Jacksonville Jaguars team that's lost his top three cornerbacks. It's the matchup. He fits a number three row with potential number one upside. Star him, and you could be very well surprised. All right, hopefully these are the keys to a championship win. We appreciate you joining us, William. For the best fantasy football information, check us out at profootballweekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the draft tab at profootballweekly.com.